Dirk had got a little bit of action on some of his lyrics <clears throat> and um, and he was good with that he was real good with that and um, you know he had respect for the members of the band SLMO was a guitar god in his way and <clears throat> it didn't matter that he had some there was some angst and sometimes he got mad about the way he was treated as an artist and some of the things that were said about stumbling across the hooks but anyways uh, he was happy and he was ready to make a, a different move things were good and he was trying to make some contacts post life contacts and um, he was still in meditation on his art project in a perpendicular omniverse outside our imagination the masters of all use our minds as vehicles vehicles that we as human hosts maintain preserve and evolve for just that purpose unbeknownst to us it is Dirk's belief that through meditation he receives knowledge and has direct contact with one of these masters. Eum, the rogue traveler of astral planes in realms of pure thought. The neighborhood. Well, it's the Iron Man race. Got the whole city up in arms. Boy, these guys are in shape, though. Got a, that brace in the mid, it's holding, middle is holding up that vinyl, this vinyl fence here. And then, but look at this. This is supposed to be that stuff that doesn't, um, it doesn't need any finishing. This is that forever stuff. Boy, it's just someone we got burnt because this stuff's just falling to pieces. I can't believe it. The upper level here, they didn't put that centerpiece. And you can see it, man, it is sagging like crazy right in the middle. That's why you have to do it. Those guys got lazy. Look at that stuff deteriorating. That's crazy. And here we have the satanic ceiling fan. Interesting. It's still the Iron Man.